I would say the prisoners that the, that later on were executed uh, basically were uh, ran away, uh, made their escape when they were on outside parties, either, either by overwhelming the guards or by some other means, they got away. You don't forget an execution. And I always advise people when I lecture, and they ask me what was my worst experience in the concentration camp, was to advise them never to go and watch an execution, because they'll never forget how this happened and what it looked like, and how they were affected personally by having to watch this. The execution was pre preceded with carpenters uh, erecting a platform. And like any other setup that uh, confines people or gets people together, there were all, the, all kinds of rumors floating around. At first we thought this was going to be a Christmas display. Until one night in December, after we had the usual count of prisoners, we were kept outside in the cold, uh, and uh, then the camp commandant got on the radio uh, and the loudspeaker system and stated the following, that prisoners had escaped and were recaptured, and he decided that he was going to be the judge, the jury, the prosecuting uh, officer, as well as the defense attorney for these prisoners, and he sentenced them to death. And eventually they were put up to what we then realized were gallows, and executed together, all five together at one time.